Let's continue with Terrain Editor and we stop on our options. So let's go ahead, open options and you notice right here we have it, our typical profile. This is mostly as a reference, see how it's a look. Important things is right here, random noise. So if you like your profile, you can copy or save this number and reuse it. But every time when you open options, this is noise, random noise, it will change. What it does affect, it's creating a random seed when you create terrain. So this is even it's a standard kind of fixing, but it's still creating based on a fractal. So example, you see this number, if I click OK, now this number will apply and change terrain shape. When I next next, it will change it to different or I can change by myself. Click OK and it's changed shape again. This is kind of useful if you want to play around with different shapes. The next also we have at the noise distribution, which how many details we want to apply on what altitude. And let's go just right click and go to edit this uh, filter. You notice as we edit, we have it zero, minus one and one. So the middle, lower and higher. So it's kind of going with the altitude and it's affecting altitude and how much noise to this. The also as we're looking on our filter editor and it will be applied to almost all of them. By default, we have it hard. So you can see it's not smooth line. It's kind of straight hard line. So we can smooth this to have a little bit more adjustments. Same with the points. But in many cases, again, if you want to go with a smoother effect or harder, we can modify with our tangents or modify them, show height grid. We can snap to the grid and time when we enable, you can see right here we have options. If you work by the numbers or want to replicate it, zoom in and out, we can reset and we can flip on verticals. So this is, will be very standard to all of them. But right here, for example, I want to create noise. I don't want to add this maybe to the lower kind of effect. Okay. Next we have profile new key, delete key, or you can just double time click and it will create new key. So you can delete the key and you can put it by the numbers directly, what key and what position you want it. So we can also save it. And when you save, this filter will show in your collection of the filters or you can preload it. So let's go ahead, click OK. We'll click OK one more time. And you notice right here, the details apply on a lower altitude, not higher. It's how it's specified. So let's go back. They also have altitude distribution. So it's meaning now when we're creating, we can specify what altitude we want of this random seed it distributed. So example, I can say let's do middle. We'll make this plateau going right here and again on a higher altitude as well. So it's meaning from this to this height, we'll just keep it the same one. So let's click OK and we'll click OK one more time. And you notice right here we're creating this flood which says OK, let's use all this altitude on the lower we kind of flatten other altitude, not all the way. We still have its little bit bumps and we'll take highest altitude and apply this as well. So, okay, this is apply filter. The one thing kind of understand when we apply this filter, the not necessarily will override. So it's meaning if I go and create different type of shapes, you see they are applying to this. So they are stacking on top of our options. So if I want to reapply it, can click OK, but remember this is will change shape because you'll need to remember what seed we was using, and it's kind of change also seed based on what we're using. There also we have it amplitude preparations when we change on the based on altitude how much. So as example, I can go take this one to maybe zero and lowest one zero. Okay, let's go to reset our filters. Okay. You can see how small it is. So let's go ahead and we'll reset everything to zero just as a test. And you can see right here perversion, see how it's smaller become. So we can go all the way to very smooth line. So and now we have only smooth. So we don't apply any perversions at all. So at least we need it apply maybe to one. And right here we have it kind of applied. So just playing with those, but overall, if you want 
adjust how the fractal or how it's work i do recommend actually switch to the procedure terrain because in this case you will have much more flexibility with the functions to modify this is somewhat simulating to this because using fractal to generating but you have some limited options on what you can do and how you can apply to this okay let's go just apply maybe to other altitude okay and there you go we can kind of modify it based on this okay so let's go ahead and look on some our right bar and you can notice right here we have it paint and we have it effect as a paint we have it presets of the brushes they will come with very nice preset brushes however you can create your own so you can save it you can add brush to your preset if you like it you create it delete it or you can create it your brush so let's click and look what brush you can create it and after we'll just use it from what we have here so you'll notice you have it your different name of brush you can also preload a different picture if you need it to the brush so that people can look like icons the next we have a, what type if we want sculpt which is apply change shape of the our terrain we can enable this and a different type limit bandwidth how many um, polygons we're creating and when we start creating some you'll notice it's take a quiet bit of the memory when you're creating so we have it free form low band we have it also different type of the function inflate which is right here we have it pitch which is right there we can look on all of this it's increasing decreasing different type of effect or just 2d painting constant 2d so it's a different uh, kind of preset on functionality of the brush you can do it next we can have it low bandwidth and we can invert so for example we have it um, inflate and we invert it will be kind of going inside almost like erosion creating so or we can have it inflate with smaller sizes almost like a rocks next we can also paint materials as we apply with the brushes so we can enable this for just that brush you still have options right here manually override and we'll look on them in a second but you can specify directly in your custom brush for example you want to paint rocks on the side and you remember when we look on a high field map where we have those stretches on a z index so you can apply with the, using general and some environments what we look in a second and you can apply to paint rocks just in those areas and materials will help you with this as well as a type of the sculpting so right here you can select if you want paint materials current material or you can override with selected and preload one we can have it fallout filter it's meaning what areas how far it will apply masking on a filter so we have it any mask you want to apply it for example local and specific areas and also notice right here we can force it settings so even we have some styles and we have it size flow fallout options we can actually force it type we want it also notice on a side we have those kind of arrows and pointing down like right here this one so th this area is allowed us to use the Vicom pad or other ones touch sensitive as we're painting. So let's go ahead to environment. And in environment, we can specify where is this brush will apply it. Like altitude constraints. So if we want to only on the bottom, which is in included, what area altitude we want it. Also apply thousands. So for example, it is, we can say, okay, painting only around this altitude but I don't want hard line so I want smooth in and smooth out so I will just increase thousands to right here we also can constrain to the slope and you remember on this case like for example we can say you know what I want slope from 90 degrees so I want to paint just on the edges like in a Z index so I want to add those rocks so you can specify where you want it those brush to work only so it's help you paint just in this area you want it and orientation as well if you need it okay after you're done you can save this brush and creating a new one so i'm just closing right now we don't need it but overall you can create and modify this new brush if you the after this if you don't want to do this you already have a good selection of the brushes available which you have a simple 3d sculpting you have a 2d ray so it can go just up and you notice know, so right here we kind of have a little bit poke out so we can create a little bit outside 
um, overhanging or other effect. We also have it in materials, so we can paint material, we can smear, move left or right slightly, flatten, altitude, plateaus, pinch, inflate, pebbles effect, and a smooth out. So let's look a little bit closer on them. One, what I want to do is take a size and take my size just slightly a little bit down as well as it just flow. So I don't want higher flow, it will affect very fast. I don't want to do this. So we select 3D sculpting and you notice as move on my brush, the little line right there, it's kind of showing and it's showing me direction of the normal in a which way I will go. So if I start painting right here, you can see it's kind of start going in that direction. Notice also right here, it's showing me how many polygons I'm start using. And I'm using quite a bit of those polygons. So if we go and rise, you notice on arrow, it just go up. So it does not go on the side. It is just normally just showing me uh, the position or directions. So it will go only up. Next, we'll work with materials. We'll look on this in a second. Smear, I can take and I can just smear all these terrains. You can see kind of moving almost like lava or something liquidy. Okay, we can flatten. Okay, in this case, you know what, let me increase my pick. So you can see, whatever point I took it, so for example, I measured just right here. Now it will flatten to the area that I originally click on a point. So if I go a little bit higher, it will flatten to this point. If I go higher to this one, it will flatten to the height that originally was selected. So we'll then have an altitude. And you notice right here, we kind of start working on this. Okay, next we have it residers. So we can just readjusting. Okay, again, it's based on altitude. We have it pinch, which is kind of bringing in, and you can see it's kind of pinching in. And inflate, I like it because it's create a very interesting, this kind of effect. Notice, but the problem with this is using a lot of mirrors, so it's over 1 million polygons. In some cases, if you want to apply these effects, um, you want to start with a good high map so you don't apply it. However, right here we have it overhanging. So obviously some effect, you maybe want to use it, um, brush to create those very nice overlays. However, if you have a problem with the too much memories, you can always use it different. So you don't necessarily need build here. You can pre-build some cavity, but if you want overlay, we can create a single object like sphere, apply as meta blob displacement and with same materials placed over. So you can work around some of those limitations. Okay, next we have it smooth and we can just very straightforward. This is smoothing out brush, okay. And we'll have it pebbles. Okay, so we can go to this and just create those effect. See right here we can create those pebbles. Again, this is on into this, so they won't go on the side. And kind of pointing this white line help you to see this which way it's going. Okay. So this is just preset brushes. We also have it brush mode currently. We have it mode effect terrain and it looks like shovel. We can also select and paint materials. As we select this, let me unselect brush so we can only paint materials. And you notice we have a different like rocks, everything. So as example, if I want to apply just materials and as pebble effect, see what's happening. When I start painting, the materials apply only to the pebbles as I'm going. So what is meaning I can select just the rocks and I'm apply these effects. The materials apply to those rocks. So it will help me originally to create and apply. It's kind of very nice effect. If I says just a painting, so in this case, you can see I'm painting just over without affecting my um, shape of the terrain. You can always add more materials Okay, or you can modify it. So currently it's a default rock and we can go ahead and change this. Okay, preview color. Also, if we want to preview ghosting freehand. Okay, or we can just 
also freeze some areas. So right here, for example, we can kind of freeze and says, okay, don't um, change those materials, freeze them. Okay, let's go back to um, our brush mode. So we look on a painting, painting materials. We also can have a freeze mask. So in this case, we can say specific areas do not modify. So we can protect some of these areas from any modification by applying freeze mask to specific areas as well. And we have an option to delete clear freeze mask or inverse freeze mask. So for example, if I want to do everything except this rock, I can just go ahead right here and inverse. So it's meaning I can work just on this rocks itself. And of course, you notice when I was rotating to the brushes, we have the options to use just material brush as a freeze mask. Okay, below we have global settings and we use some of these. It is modify size of our brush. We can enable this so it can be driven through the Vicom pad, pressure sensitive. The harder you push, the bigger size it is. Flow, okay, or fallout. So currently fallout is not big, so we can actually increase just as example and you can see it will be okay, it will be a bit smoother, nicer fallout in this case. Okay, so we'll look on this properties. They also you can have it save, preload, or delete some of those presets. So let's go on the terrains also. Then one thing what I want to do, I want to dis disable this constraint that we enabled previously. And let's go look in the effects tab.